Hello and welcome to our latest video in the How To series. Today's video is looking at front roller selection for your greens unit, looking at the effects that different roller design and style will have on the grass as you cut it. So I've got a selection of turf rollers um, which would fit the cutting unit here. We've got six different versions of a front roller. They are different weights and different designs and each roller will give us a different effect when we take it across the turf. On the cutting unit at the moment we have a smooth roller, light in design, weighing about three kilograms. Next to it, another smooth roller but much heavier. This roller is seven kilos. Significant difference in the two weights and that will have an effect on the height of cut and also the rolling effect that the unit leaves on the turf. Then we move on to the more popular um, grooved rollers. We have a light aluminium grooved roller weighing in at three and a half kilograms. A heavy machined steel roller which weighs in at eight kilograms. And here I have another grooved aluminium roller but this one is in three completely separate sections. When we're on perimeter cuts this allows the inside section of the roller to run at a slower speed than the outside and very much reduce the scuffing and stress on the turf. So an excellent roller for use on uh, perimeters uh, where we've got sensitive turf areas. And finally we have this sectional roller. It's made of a series of steel discs with spacers in between it. The discs are narrow and the spacing between them is much wider than we've seen on the previous grooved rollers. The depth of the groove is also much greater. This is a 10 millimeter drop so it will allow us to cut on t-tops and in longer grass conditions this roller will sit down more tightly into the turf and it will be more comfortable cutting longer grass. So as you can see there is a wide range of rollers that would all fit on the front of your greens unit. It's very important therefore that you select the right roller for your application. In order to understand the effect that different roller selection will have on our mowing height and on the quality of the cut, first of all we need to understand weights. To help us do that I've got a precision set of scales here. I'm going to bring the cutting unit on. Now I can get an accurate weight measurement for the cutting unit and this cutting unit is weighing in at 31.3 kilos and if I now roll the cutting unit half off I can now measure the amount of weight or ground or pressure which is being applied by the front roller only and I've got a readout of 15 kilos so half the weight of the cutting unit is being applied directly to the front roller. Now we're going to look at the effects that different roller selection and different weights will have on turf. To represent the piece of turf I'm going to use a piece of foam. As most of you will know the roller or the cutting unit will actually sink into the turf and the amount of sinkage will have a big impact on the actual height of cut and the quality of the finish that we generate. So we're using a piece of foam here to represent the turf in this workshop experiment. So now I'm going to bring the cutting unit onto the piece of foam and replicate a mowing condition. And what I'd like to do is to measure the difference of uh, height of cut when we're actually on the turf. And to do that I'm going to use a vernier caliper. I'm now using the top of the cutting unit frame as a datum point. This will allow me to accurately measure the difference in actual mowing height when we try fitting different types of roller to this cutting unit. And we'll see the differences. In order to record this accurately I'm going to press the zero button now. So my reading is at zero and so our datum point 
will be the smooth, lightweight roller. Okay, we've now changed the front roller to the heavy, smooth front roller. Now sat it back in the same place on the piece of foam representing our turf. Now if I come back to the datum point and start to measure, so I'm in exactly the same position, measuring exactly the same difference, and I can now see that I've got a height of cut change of one and a half millimetres. So this cutting unit is actually one and a half millimetres closer to the ground, not because I've changed the height of cut adjustment at all, but because I've changed the weight of the front roller. Okay, we have now changed the roller again, and we've got the lightweight aluminium grooved roller. Again, we've got a fair bit of um, sinking into the foam. So, I'm at the same height of cut as I was before. All I've done is change the roller again. And now, from my datum point, compared to the smooth roller, lightweight smooth, I'm now 1.4 millimetres. So, in fact, the grooved aluminium roller has given me the same height of cut as I achieved with the heavy smooth roller. In conclusion then, we have a selection of rollers that can all be fitted to the greens unit which allow the unit to perform differently in different situations. We have smooth rollers which are ideal for use during the winter when there are lower growth rates, softer ground conditions and really we're looking to produce the smoothest surface with the least amount of marking or disturbance. We have grooved rollers, which are ideal through the spring, summer and early autumn when the grass is still growing. A grooved roller allows the cutting unit to sit into the turf. It gives us a tighter cut. And we have light or heavy rollers to suit your turf and your particular application. If you've got tough springy grass with a lot of growth, maybe the heavy duty roller will be better for you. And if there were any concerns about groove rollers marking the surface, then we have the segmented roller, which allows it to turn at different speeds on the inside and outside of the cutting unit, which will greatly reduce turf stress, marking and damage. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Roller selection obviously makes a big difference to the performance of the cutting unit, and getting it right is important. We look forward to seeing you next time.